Hey, my loves, how's it going? It is your girl, hot girl, Terrell Shea. Thank you all for joining me. Um, I just want to do a, um, just say thank you all for being here, joining me, like, as I said. Um, I do want to say, if y'all do want to book a personal reading with me, it'll have to be through my Twitter account at hot girl, Terrell Shea. That is the only way in that link that is down below in my description box. That is the only way that you guys can book with me, okay? Please don't try to look at previous videos and and try to get a video through um, like an email or something like that because it's not going to work, okay? Um, so we're going to, that's just that's just what I needed to throw out there and let y'all know. We're going to see, go ahead and get into y'all message collective. Please only take it resonates. This will be um, what y'all need to know or hear at this time or just y'all's message for the day, okay? Spirit, angels, and gods, bless my collective what they need to know at this time. <clears throat> I'm going to do two more shuffles. What is my collective's message for the day, spirit? What is their message for the day? Okay, that wasn't a good shuffle. Let's try that again. What is their message for the day? All right. What is their message for the day? All right, so, <laughs> of course, of course, this happens every time. All right, there, um, it says something about daily hustle, okay? We're going to clarify these, but there's something about money issues. I don't know if this is you, okay? Um, but we could have something about surviving. But I'm picking up, this could be someone that you know, and the reason I say this is because something about telepathic, getting dreams, hearing songs, you'd be having dreams about a certain person. The reason why I say that it could be someone that you know, somebody's still focused on your energy is, is picking up, picking back up and their energy, energy where now they want to focus on you. Okay. Um, this is somebody who feels like they're running out of time with you, that they have unconditional love for you. But I feel like, of course, that's why I laughed because it's somebody who is involved with a karmic. Okay. Now in the present. Okay. So I don't feel like it's you that has having the money issues. I feel like this is more so of them because for this to come out at the bottom, which I think we picked up, picked up that card yesterday on the last reading. It's somebody who is having a bit of money issues, okay? What's going on, spirit? Tell me more. Yeah, we got search online. Somebody could be looking you up online, searching you. Okay, what else? Thought so. This is somebody that, that loves you and they love you unconditional bottom of the deck. Okay. So that's what it is. <laughs> that's exactly what it is. This is somebody who feels like they're running out of time with you and they are currently involved with a motherfucking comic. Okay. Third party. There's somebody who they're in a relationship where they're pretending this person pisses them the fuck off. Your person is weighed down. Okay. They feel weighed down. This is something that was just supposed to be a little secret. And now this person is injured where they want to retaliate. Whoever they're with is karmic. They want to retaliate. But your person's realizing time is running out. This is somebody still who don't even got their shit together. Okay. Because like I said, I didn't, I didn't pick that up as you. I picked it up as them. But it's somebody that you could have blocked. And they're looking for you up online. They're looking to try to find like what you're doing. Trying to see if they can like. I don't know. It's somebody who's, trying, who's, search, who's been searching up for you. Okay. Because we got the. Hamster wheel, which money issues, and then we got searching and then love somebody that they love. So this, this has to be you collected. That's your message. Somebody that's having money issues misses you, adores you, loves you. Okay. What's going on here? What's cut to need to know? Yeah. So this is somebody who um, is trying to clear up things right now they're trying to clear out the negative energy and i, I knew it was a past person because look what's at the bottom of the deck coming together reconciliation a past person this person feels embarrassed somebody who feels very very embarrassed they feel like they're a clown they feel stupid they feel like the whole world is laughing at them and that pe teddy pendergrass teddy pendergrass song the whole town's laughing at me silly fool how'd you lose such a good thing. This is this is that. This is what your person's feeling like. 
feeling like the whole world is laughing at them because this person could have chose a family situation over you, someone that they had a family with, and they feel triggered. Okay, so your person's realizing now that they don't even want to be a part of that family anymore. You know, they want to be single. They want to do them. Their person's trying to move on towards a new beginning in life, but the thing is, they, it, it's a it's a risk if they come towards you because the person can put them in court, possibly try to put them in jail, send people after them. Yeah, and your person just wants to get on the same page with you. They want to talk it out with you. They want to know, do you still care about me? Yeah, this person is wishing, yearning for you, missing you, and they got anxiety. They want to reach out to you so bad, but they can't. Spirit says, all you, yeah, because look, I feel like it's more to the story. I feel like your person got children with this person. They don't want to leave. The, they don't want to feel like they're leaving their children behind. You know, this person could have even said, well, I'm taking the karma could have been like, well, I'm taking the kids and we moving across town, you know, or they're either begging your person to stay with them. OK, clarify this hamster wheel. Oh, so this is somebody who feels like they got to get their shit together. They love you unconditionally. Whoever this is that's going through money issues is somebody that loves you unconditionally. Whether they've told you this or where you, whether you feel it, whatever it is, this person loves you unconditionally. They're certain in their heart. This is why I feel like they need, they know they need to get better. And I could, and I also got this strange feeling that this karmic y'all, they know who you are because for them to retaliate and want to retaliate because your person, um, wants to be with you your person got whoever this is is having money issues and they in, they're in love with you unconditional love for you okay and this person wants to whoever they're with is in like this retaliation mode mm. okay i feel like if this part if your person chooses to take you back it's going to really really piss this person off whoever they're with it's gonna make them mad they're gonna be, try to punish a person get revenge clarify this searching it's crazy wow okay y'all did, didn't i just say the karmic might know about y'all because your person is in deep love with you is in love with you why was the searching is the karmic been looking you up trying to find shit on you wow they doing it like that okay there's somebody who feels like you're a threat collective this karmic is watching your ass okay this is what's happening now in the present they could be on your page right now <laughs> they've been on your page this is a karmic this is somebody who they they have a past with this person and their person is feeling crushed they feel alone. They feel broken. This game how the karmic is feeling. They feel broken and alone because see your person, this karmic has been getting signs that your person's still in love with you. They could have checked their phone recently and, um, they could have checked your person's phone here recently and realize your person's love, the things that they were saying to you, they possibly never told the person that they even had a history with who they possibly had kids. So they never told your person, they never told this person no shit like that. Yeah, this is somebody who your person told, has told you they're done with. They could have told you a lot of things. Wow. So the karmic is looking y'all up. Okay. They're looking, trying to figure out who the fuck you are. They probably can't even find you on social media. But they're trying to find you, trying to ask people about you. They're they looking you up. Mm -mm. All right. Okay. Tell me about this love here. Yeah, see, your person, said, as they're trying to change and do better and be better people, I feel like <sighs> something's going to be confessed to you soon. Because, see, all your person is able to do is think about you. I also heard something like, I'm also, I, I don't know why, but I heard something like in my head where this person could have even called them your name. Like, your person that you're, that's, you know, obviously you're not talking to because, you know, clearly they're with the karmic. But whoever this person is, I feel like they called your name. Like they actually said, collective. And they're like, oh shit. You know? And the crazy thing is they probably ain't even been talking to you in a long time. But for them to say your name like that, it just kind of makes the person feel like, okay, who the fuck is, who is that? What do you mean? You're, why are you calling me that name? You know? And that's why this karmic felt the need to like look you up and search you. Because your person called, called, your person called them your name. Yeah. Wow. Tell me about this cleansing. 
Oh, told y'all. Can't make this shit up. Your person is clearing this karmic out their energy. They're clearing anything that is tied with this person. Why? Because they want to come back towards you. They want this reconciliation. They feel this. They feel it. They're like, they tie all this love. Look at all this love. Look how, look at these, all these pictures, how these, look at all this love. Look how the man is connecting head. You and this person are on a different level in love. Okay. This person, they think better. They feel better. They look better. They just, uh, you're, an, you're a whole upgrade to this, to this, to your person. Okay. That's what you are. That's why they want to come back towards your ass because they feel it. They feel it in their spirit. They're even asking God to protect this, to, to protect you, to, to make you wait a little bit longer or wait, wait around for the, cause they're, they're going to get that divorce. They're going to be over with this karma. They don't want that person. Why? Because they're putting them through too much. Okay. This could even be your twin flame and they want more of you. And that could be expressed in the next couple of days and weeks as soon as they get this up out of their energy. Why? Because your person feels like they're in a mental lockdown. And that's why they get ready to avoid this karmic. They don't want to be there anymore. Your person's very tuned into what you're doing. Could be watching you on social media. Yeah, they feel like they're trapped in a situation. Look, social media, watching your social media, hiding from a fake page. Why? Because they wouldn't be in a commitment with you. Yeah, they feel like they was in a forbidden marriage. They couldn't have even been married to this person. They feel like it was just forbidden. There's no more to do. Yeah, they feel like they want to be with their divine feminine. And they feel lost without you. They feel so lost without you. They feel like you don't care about them anymore. You didn't ghost them. And look at the top of the deck. Time is running out. TikTok. That's what they feel like. They feel like time is running out. They're going crazy. They don't want to be with this other person. The love is there with you. That's what they want. They want you. And they like, well, shit, you know about who I'm in love with. So that's just, that's the truth of the matter. <laughs> like they don't even care no more. There's somebody who don't even care. I feel like, so we're going to get some more tea. But it tells them more about this person that, um, is involved with a karmic. We're going to see. This person got unconditional love for you. They feel certain in their heart that it's you they want to do it. They admire you. They love you. Can you want to possibly even give you some type of proposal? They're coming back because they feel it. They they feel that they got their mental clarity and they know it. They feel this shit. They're like, this is, I can't avoid this. I can't avoid my collective no more. I got to come back and make this right. I've been getting this message. Some of y'all might be tired of hearing it, but y'all, this if this is what's coming out, this is what's coming out. I'm showing y'all the cards that fall out. And everything. So I don't know who this is for, but you got somebody on the on y'all's mind heavy. Okay. This is somebody who doesn't want to let you go. So so far as we know, your person is involved with a karmic, possibly living with them, and they're trying to get them up out of their energy. They're trying to get up out of the situation. I feel like your person's not happy. We're gonna get more into it. We're gonna get more into it. So who is this spirit? Tell the pluck of what they need to know. I told you. Somebody is going to send you some type of love message here soon. This person has been dreaming about you. But see, they're afraid because to come forward. See, Six of Cups. They want to come forward, but they're afraid. They feel like you're very defensive towards them. They feel like you're going to be like, <laughs> come at full force. But this person, I feel like they don't care. They want, they want to come towards you. They, feel, they see you as victory. They want to look at every picture that I've literally seen, you guys. This is freaking me out. Every picture about your person, about coming back together and loving you, being unconditional. Why is all these men kissing their forehead or, or head to head with them? Look how beautiful this is. This is how your person feels. They feel like you're a dream come true. This person just wants to be, you healed this person in a way that you, you'll never, ever understand. Like, this is so beautiful to me. This is somebody who is happy with you. I feel like you have, like, changed this person's life. And that's why they want to move towards you, have some type of steady progress. Wow. Yeah, see, this person feels like they missed an opportunity or they took, like, some type of loss here with you. When they disconnected, they feel like you got opportunities out there. And they're really looking and trying to figure this out, trying to make a plan to come towards you. Carefully planning. Yeah, because y'all haven't been talking. Four swords, y'all been... Working on yourselves. Yeah, your person feels like they took a light loss and they're, they're trying to heal. Why? So they can come back and give you the type of offer that they want to give you. That type of commitment. They see you as somebody with values, respect. 
and see somebody they want to they wouldn't mind showing off and being with. Tell the cut them more what they need to know about whoever this is. This is somebody who doesn't want to be a burden with the Ten of Wands in reverse. <clears throat> this is somebody who doesn't want to be a burden anymore. I feel like whoever this is wants to get their shit together and they want to show you. But this person has been struggling, okay? We, we ain't going to forget that. But this person has been struggling, okay? And they could be coming in, 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 in a better light. Things become better. But this person got anxiety and fear to come towards you. They feel like they have missed out. That's probably why I haven't reached out to you because they feel very guarded. They feel like they're missing out. They missed the opportunity with you. They feel like they're having um, anxiety, all types of shit when it comes to you. Yeah, this is somebody who, um, okay, so we know that somebody that's clearly loves you and cares about you. So we're going to clarify these and we're going to see why this person wants to come back. Spirit, can you clarify the come together card? Who is this person that's wanting to come back towards my collective? What's the come together? person wants to take a leap of faith towards you okay they want to could be an Aquarius or you could be an Aquarius but they want to take a leap of faith towards you because they've been watching you they want a fresh new start okay I feel like they feel like this is a challenge and overall they want to be married to you they want to show you that they can be what you need they want to be that man or woman for you they have could have been with this devil energy having obsessive thoughts about you being that person look yin and yang okay can you clarify the full why does this person want to come back towards the collective? So this person looks looking at this situation like they can be more reliable and responsible when it comes to you. They feel they look they're looking at this as a long term plan. That's why they're gonna take a risk towards you with the page of wands. They look at this situation like y'all can move towards a new beginning, have those have those opportunities that y'all want. That's why they want to come in and express their feelings. It comes with some type of communication towards you. They've been manifesting. Yeah, manifesting this. They also feel like you're on your shit too, that you're very disciplined. You carry the way you carry yourself. You've got your own bag. You're a queen. Okay, and that's why they want to come with this Two of Cups offer. They want to come in and show you that they still love you and care about you. Tell me about this love. Clarify this love. Yep. Could be an um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, but this person has really been carefully thinking. They want to, they've been getting some knowledge from behind the scenes. And that's why they want to come and have a new beginning, come at, at um, quick speed to come towards you. Not even at quick speed, but they just, they know that they want to just move on to a new beginning. So about this unconditional love. I feel like um, they want to change the cycle with you. Look, we got 10, 10, Wheel of Fortune, and then the 10 of pentacles it's somebody who wants to change it all with you like i said they they see you as a happy their true happy ending they see legacy and value here okay they know what it could be 10 10 i feel like it's y'all's angel number click all this 10 of pentacles yeah and they're gonna tell you that you're gonna find that out this person gonna let you know like look you're the person i want to be with you are my wish fulfillment you are a queen you're the one that i need to be with quit playing with yep two of cups there we go again they're like i need to quit playing with you but you can come with the love message. Click on this page of cups. They can't hide it no more. You know, they're, they're tired of hiding their feelings. Yeah, somebody, like I said, page of cups. Then we got the page of swords. person has been investigating and watching you. Being very, very strategic before they can come in. But they feel like they have a new idea. Like I said, this person been obsessively thinking about this. Obsessively trying to, trying to keep some self-control. But I feel like they're trying to make some life changes. I also feel like this person could be, like I said, whoever this is, is getting up out of a situation and they're trying to change their, lo their location. They're trying to, re they're going to relocate because they want to balance the schedule because y'all could be dealing with the Libra. Um, but this person wants to balance and some truth is going to come out after they release something, after they go through this tower moment. After they have like this tower moment, they're going to come back towards you and tell you some truth here. Yeah, they're going to balance, want to balance those skills. Heavy air energy. I'm not even going to lie. Person does have a lot of love for you, though. I can't, I can't 
Um, not say that this person got a lot of you. You could also be dealing with a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Sounds really don't matter, but I like to tell y'all because you know people want to know like who this, who what their story is, you know, and I don't mind telling you. Yeah, let's see. Top of the deck, mental clarity. There's Ace of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. This person got some mental clarity. They feel like y'all are, are divine. Y'all are meant to be. Somebody who you make them feel whole. So they want to start over in love with you. So <clears throat> let's just get some more truth here. Spirit, tell the collector what they need to know. What's the truth here? <laughs> Bottom of the deck. Aw, they want to have a new beginning in love. You make them happy. You're this person's happiness. Look how happy when y'all are together. Hmm. Yeah, your person is coming to a realization. For some of you, your person's looking at themselves like him at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this is a definitely a divine masculine energy. Your person's looking at themselves and they want to grow this connection with you. They want to be in a commitment with you. Y'all could be at a distance right now, which could be something that causes some conflict if y'all are distant lovers. But this person is coming to some realization when it comes to you. Yeah, this person could be a bit immature still, or they have an immature way of learning or, or growing or are immature, have their immature ways. But this person is making some changes behind the scenes. They're trying to, they want to be whole again. Yeah, this person puts you on a high pedestal. They know that it's like king and queen energy. Okay, yep, him. There it is, him again. Yeah, there's somebody who is very family orientated. Like I said, you could have a child with them or they or they have excuse me, they have children, but something is changing here. Something about divine timing and change. Okay, what is this person realizing? So we got codependency, but it cannot in reverse. Your person's realizing that they don't need to be in they, if they want you that they're gonna have to start doing better. See, maybe that within the past relationships they were able to kind of slide by and 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 do certain things and you didn't put up with that shit you was like no i'm gonna send you on your way because <laughs> i don't have time for that yeah see them not being on the shit really caused a lot of conflict for some of you you, you could have been helping out this person and you felt like you were friends with benefits i mean this person does love you but you're you're starting to see things from a different perspective something that was done in the darkness will come to the light somebody wants to talk to you and they're going to talk to you and express this to you Possibly they were cheating and they were lying and being immature. Clarify this immature energy. Yeah, see, they're being immature. They're out here being a player, being a ladies' man. That shit didn't get them nowhere, being immature. It didn't, it didn't get them nowhere at all. See, they're living a fantasy. And for some of you, yeah, they were, they were enjoying, you know, having many sex partners and, um, karmics and third parties and soul ties and just a bunch of shit this person's going through but now they're seeing that that was just a fantasy it, and that shit only lasts for so long it only lasts for so long there's nothing that can compare to this nothing that compares to this you have some other women men whatever you're involved with they may have satisfied your person to a certain extent but it wasn't forever look you're gonna always stand out look at look how beautiful you are you're this empress energy you're gonna always stand out Tell me about this chemistry yeah, I see your person wants you to trust them again. They want to build that bond with you. Okay, so it's family orientated. Mm, see, like I told y'all. Wow. Okay, so if your person has a child with a karmic or somebody else, I'm not going to say they're going to walk away from this child, but they're going to walk away from being in this family with them. Okay, your person does not want to be with who they're involved with they're not walking away from the child but they are walking away from that relationship with the person they're not happy there okay and the reason why i say this is because they have found something very very sacred and beautiful and different okay and your person wants to come with you with some type of offer 
They want to give you the offer. They want to ask you, will you be my wife? Will you be my husband? Or, you know, just can, can I give you this offer in love? They're walking away from something that's not fulfilling. Okay? It's not fulfilling your person's needs at all. Why are they walking away from this karmic spirit? Why are they walking away from this karmic? For some of you, they want to date other people or, you know, they're dating around. Tell me one more. Why are they walking away? They could be playing games and being immature with the karmic too. Some of you that are walking away also because they want to come in and give you some type of apology. Like a sincere apology. So what's the act, next actions from this person to the collective? So this could be your twin flame. Your person wants to compromise. But they might still not be very financially stable where they need to be. What else? What are the next actions? Yeah, you need to also know that this person may not be as ready as you want them to be because they're focusing on money. And they also might be a little bit crazy and toxic and could have some sex addictions still, okay? Um, I do feel like overall you will get an offer when your person is emotionally there. Don't expect too, too much out of this person this next round. Just be friends, okay? So what does the collective need to do? In regards to this connection, what does the collective need to do? So for some of you, you will have someone new coming in that will keep you occupied. Okay, that will make you happy. Okay, what does the collective need to do? You all need to continue to set boundaries. There's an air sign planning something big with y'all. What is this air sign Who's, okay, tell me about this air sign that's clearly wanting to come in. Yeah, this is somebody that you're taking, if this makes any more sense to y'all. I try to clarify as much so y'all can know y'all's story. This air sign is someone that you're taking a break with, okay? Y'all have taken a break, and they could be avoiding you. They could have walked away from the situation due to a family, but they still got options trying to make a decision. Why did they take a break from the collective spirit? Um, they took a break, but I feel like, okay, so if for some of you it might not be a family, but that's just for a spew, or maybe you're the one who's pregnant, or maybe you're going to find out here soon that you are, but your ter person took a break from you. If your person took a break from you, just know you're going to get a love message from them soon. You're going to get a love message because your person still feels they're missing you and they still feel there's some type of love towards you, even though, yeah, look, for some of you, they want a relationship with you. But they had to tend to other responsibilities at this time. They had other duties. For some of you, they had to go in and be a parent and work and, and try to be a parent to this to their child or children. What is the message going to be like? Your person probably going to tell you that they were being sneaky, that they were lying, they were being insecure, and that they're sorry for not being committed and falling for or being non-committal. And fall for temptation, but they're determined to get you back because they feel like they have unconditional love for you. We got that twice. They're going to surprise you with something. This person said they're going to surprise you with something. What's the message that they're going to get, Spirit? Tell me more about this message that's coming in. Person going to tell you that they're scared, but they've been scared to talk to you, but they want to start in the beginning in love. They love how independent you are. What are they going to tell them that they're scared about? The person going to tell you that they, with the high vibration reverse, that they weren't in a good place. Okay, they're going to tell them that tell you that they weren't in a good place. They were letting other things get to them. What's why is the high vibrational in reverse? They're going to tell you that they were it came in that they didn't have any money. They were very empty handed, so they had to distance themselves from you. But they always felt like they wanted to be in a commitment with you, or they're already committed to something. They just want to feel whole again, but they changed something because you made them feel happy. You made them, you didn't judge them. You made them feel some type of comfort and they're sorry for running from you and getting distracted by other things that matter. But the whole time that they were distracted, your person had dreams of you. Even though y'all were in no contact, you stayed on your person's mind. They did have other options and decisions to make. 
Your person could even tell you that they tried to get you pregnant. And that's why they kind of avoided you. And they're hoping that when you can, that you would be the one to be able to reach out to them. I feel like they're trapped in a situation, but they want to reconcile with you. They always thought about reconciling with you. So I look at things from a different perspective. Even if y'all just choose to be friends, that's what they wanted. They'd rather be your friend than be nothing at all towards you. They're going to tell you that they love your beauty, how beautiful you are. So what's to come after this break? Person may be, you know, you might I feel like the tables might turn because this person may be in a situation or in an energy where they're, they're going to be ready now. And then but you're going to be the one who's going to be in your head when this person comes back around and you're going to have distractions. OK, you're going to be distracted from this person right now. You could be thinking about, you know, having sex with your person or, you know, giving them another chance or. But you're going to be I thought those tables are going to turn. There's going to be some changes because see, at first your person was. That one that you were waiting around for. Now they're going to be waiting around for you. It's like things are going to happen on your time. So they can either get with it or, or not get with it. So we're going to pull it up from my other deck. And we're going to see what you need to expect. What should the collective expect from this person's spirit? That's clearly missing them. And loves them still unconditionally. It could be a twin flame. An air sign that they're taking a break from. But they're scared to approach them. Tell them more, spirit. Still one more shuffle. All right. So this person, like I said, they're shy, they're timid to write you. I felt like there's somebody who knows they did you dirty, they did you wrong. Okay. What does the collective need to know about that person? There's somebody who um could have grew up like a street person or you know, they grew up in a rough environment. Somebody who respects you because you were very loyal to them. They want to be overgiven. This would be a little divine masculine. Yeah, somebody who's a, a charmer. Okay. Something about baby boom. Okay. I don't know if this is for you that you're going to be expecting. Um, maybe they're shy to tell you about that, but I don't know. Let's see. person wants to um they feel like things they're praying that things are not over between the two of you they want to make this like it was yeah something about your person's going to be aired out what's this dirty laundry that's going to be aired out for the collective to know so okay um, I feel like it's going to be good news because we got reconciliation right here, which is for some of you, that's what you're wanting. You're wanting that reconciliation. And then you're going to find your person still has a lot of love for you and care for you. Maybe you thought we're thinking the worst, you know, in this situation. Okay. Why is this person coming back? Oh, so we got good karma. And then we got loyalty again. So your person admires you for your loyalty. Why is this person coming back? They're tired of faking it wherever they're at. Your person looks at you as somebody who's very beautiful, natural beauty. They find you as a lover and a friend. This person's been having crazy dreams about you. Okay. They look at you as um, royalty. Yeah, but like I said, they could be involved with a karmic or a third party. How do they feel towards this karmic third party spirit? <laughs> they feel like this person is a pushover, whoever they're involved with. And this person's time is about up. Why? Because they're getting ready to come back towards you. They're motherfucking twin flame. We got that twice. Hold on, let me fix the cards right. They're getting ready to come back towards you. They're twin flame. Because they feel this energy. They just rather co-parent with this other person. So I'm going to end it right there, you guys. Thank y'all for joining me this afternoon. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. 
to my channel. If you're a book of person reading, it is at Hot Girl Tarot Shea. Okay, I love each and every one of y'all, and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.